Our discussions of the equilibrium situations formed by weak acids and weak bases dissolving have always been in the solvent water. And water undergoes a very special type of equilibrium known as the auto-ionization of water. What water does is it acts as an acid and a base. So one water molecule will donate a proton to another mo water molecule which acts as the base to form a very, very, very small amount of hydroxide and hydronium. We write the equilibrium expression for this process as capital K subscript W for water is equal to the concentration of hydroxide times the concentration of hydronium. Since water is a pure liquid, we do not include it in the expression. The numerical value of Kw at 25 degrees Celsius is 1 times 10 to the minus 14th. So in pure water, the concentration of hydroxide and hydronium are incredibly, incredibly small. And in pure water, they are equal to one another. So pure water would be considered to be neutral, where the concentration of hydronium is equal to the concentration of hydroxide. And the concentration of each is incredibly tiny at 1 times 10 to the minus 7. In an acidic solution, however, when we add a solute that donates protons to water, the concentration of hydronium increases to be greater than 1 times 10 to the minus 7th. And so what that means is the concentration of hydroxide decreases. Remember that the concentration of hydroxide times hydronium is equal to a constant. So if we increase the concentration of one, the other must decrease. In a basic solution, we add a solute that causes the hydroxide concentration to rise above 1 times 10 to the minus 7. And that means our hydronium concentration decreases. If we know what the concentration of hydronium is, we can calculate the concentration of hydroxide, since K is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14th, and vice versa. If I know what the concentration of either hydroxide or hydronium is, at 25 degrees Celsius, I can always calculate the concentration of the other.